What's up guys, I'm Chirag and I hope you all are finding my tutorials useful. So today I'm here to start a very short tutorial series on custom domain name with API Gateway. So welcome to part one of tutorial series on custom domain name with API Gateway. So ideally in this tutorial, we are going to provision and validate SSL or TLS certificate using ACM because in order to use a custom domain for API Gateway, we will need that, right? So ACM is nothing but the AWS Certificate Manager, right? So well, let's get started. So here I am assuming that you already have deployed the API endpoint. So I will not dive into creating resources, methods and deployment stuff, right? So if you want to go through that stuff, then you can refer my API Gateway tutorial series for the same. The link is in the video description. So I'm going to use this access file data API endpoint or the API, right? And within that, I'm going to use this domain demo, which has the get method. So before uh, we move on, I will show you the normal invocation of this API endpoint or resource, right? So I have that URL within Postman. So in case click on stages, deployment stage. I am going to copy this URL, go to Postman, paste, followed by domain demo, right? So it says API invoked. It's the normal 200 uh, response. So normally this is how we invoke the API endpoint, but now I want to invoke this API endpoint using custom domain, right? So I want to use something like, say for example, HTTPS SRCECDE.com or maybe uh, not this API.SRCECDE.com slash followed by stage name or the base path, right? So that is something we will cover later, right? Followed by resource name. So I want to invoke uh, the same API endpoint using custom domain or using this URL, for example, right? So how we can do that? So the very first step to achieve this is to create or provision the certificate using ACM, right? So I own this domain that is srcecd.com. So right now it's parked. It's not going to load. It will simply say this domain is parked. So well, to create the uh, certificate, uh, we will go to the AWS console. Within that, navigate to ACM. That is Certificate Manager. Now, once you are here, Click on get started under provision certificates. Now here we will request a public certificate. Then click on request a certificate. Now here you need to add the domain, right? So you can add multiple domain or the aliases, right? So it's like srcecde.com. Then I will say asterisk.srcecde.com, right? So as I uh, showed you that I want to invoke it via api.srcecd.com, right? So that's where uh, hashtag dot .com will work, right? And you can also uh, multiple like www.srcecd.com and so on, right? So uh, I'm done with the domain name. So once you are done, click on next. Now here it is asking us to validate that uh, you own this domain. It is giving us two options that is DNS validation and email validation. So DNS validation takes some time. So we will go with the email validation, right? So I will select email validation and I will say next. I'm not adding any tags, review and confirm and request. So it says that we will send you email to the registered owner, right? So it's going to or AWS is going to send me an email on my official email address with which the srcecd.com is registered, right? So 
continue and it says validation not complete or validation pending so now i will look at my email and as you can see i have this email so what does it say uh, it says domain and whatever uh, information and it says to approve this request go to amazon certificate approval so we have to ideally click on this link so once you click on this link it will say click on this i approve and then we are done with the validation so i will say i approve and it's done right success now if i go back to aws certificate manager and reload this so ideally aws might send uh, one or more email right maybe two or three um, depend upon the domain that you are adding right so you have to click on approve for all that email that you have received right so make sure to click on i approve and as you can see now status is being changed to issued right now what happens in case uh, we have we had selected dns validation right so with dns validation option uh, it gives us the cname record uh, that we have to add within the domain manager right so here within records we have to go ahead and click on add and we have to select cname and aws will give us the host and uh, points to values so we have to paste it over here and we have to save it right so that's how dns validation will work so right now uh, the certificate is being issued and it's being validated and it's success right so while i'm closing this tutorial here so probably in the next tutorial what we are going to do is is that we are going to create this custom domain name right so that's for the next tutorial right so well that's it for now and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time